who've been talking who I didn't know, but it says good things about Hex. But funny enough, Peter McCormick's back in the news. Uh, he uh, right. he tweeted the other day, uh, Hex will be the, as you say, Hex will be the next Luna. Yeah, like yeah, that. yeah. And we're just ripping them Man. apart. Man, how how have you, he's, I can't even, I don't know. I don't see how people even still think about, does, does he just want the clicks? Does he just want the, to create the engagement to, to get it's people? To or is he still on this, is he on this holy mission to, to like tell people about scam as a hex or, or hex as a scam or something? This has got to be one of, I mean, he's got almost 500,000 followers, but at the same point, like this has got to be like a, you know, any news is good news kind of thing. Um, I just kind of took it that way. I took it as, hey, he's talking about Hex again. This is interesting. Like, it's free, right. free press in a way. It, it For us. But I think for him, it's not staying relevant, but it's hmm. con- controversy sells. Yeah. But he, so do you, I'm, I'm trying to, I made a joke on uh, with Hexologist the other day on, on his thread of like, I think Peter's a secret 555 staker and that he's actually going to run and frolic and laugh with us running through the fields, you know, in the future. And it's all going to be good. Um, I was joking. I don't think that's actually the case. So if it is just, you know, trying to drum up publicity or whatever, is it like, what is his mission? Is it his mission? Clearly it's, uh-huh. it's against Hex. So right. what does he what does he get out of that other than yeah. likes and tweets and now he's got more people looking into hex? I don't get it. What's the advantage? Well, maybe he doesn't hold any at all, and just to st- he knows it'll stir up controversy. Um, he just wants more shit storms for hex. So are you saying? Yeah, yeah, that was deal. Yeah, I can see Pro- that. You know, because if he's going to say something like that, then he knows that his five hundred thousand got people are going to probably not get into it which if you did own hex that's exactly the opposite of what you want right yes yeah, it's, it's it's such an interesting thing i mean he uh i don't know i mean peter peter's uh i've, I've seen him on the the crypto uh what's that uh pomp show uh uh it's the best business show i've seen him on that the other day and uh, i've seen him at the bitcoin conference the other day so he's Still doing stuff. So, I, so he's just he a Bitcoin maxi. I, I don't know. Like, why is he like? If you truly believe something, like like Richard says too, like if you truly believe it's a scam, why do you say the name? Why do you give it the publicity? Right. Why do you say it? Unless it's a very you know strategic move in a situation, like what tweeting it. That don't make any sense. So, I'll take yeah. it as a as a sign of. Uh, Hey, we're catching a break that Peter still thinks about us, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, that's 400. I just looked it up because um, I had seen him and I followed him a couple of um, tweets, um, but I don't really know much um, about him other than, you know, his Bitcoin. And he likes, you know, he's kind of a basic dude. Um, shit, I forgot where I was going with that because I was looking at Twitter for a second. I forgot. <laughs> Did you watch the original uh, interview with uh, Hillman Richard? Mm-mm. Oh gosh, that's that's a. Uh, it's so cringy, but it's it's entertaining at the same time. He just basically the whole time it's just like Richard will say something. He's like scam. I'm not gonna buy it because it's a scam. I'm not gonna you know scam. Nope, because you're you're lying, people. Blah blah blah. And just like the whole time, there's zero open mind. It's as if I think he he took the position of I will not let this man compromise me because again he believes he's he's on the other side he's he's on he's fighting for the people he's on this righteous journey to not support scams so he totally turned off and would not interact in any level that meant thinking about what richard was saying and hey richard richard the marketing master he you know persuasion influence that's what he does he, he's great at it right. um but if you're going to engage and have a debate and have a conversation you can't just you can't stay on the other side and say scam, 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 scam. You can't. You've got to engage. You have to use your brain. And that, that was what's so disappointing to me. I thought, hey, here's this famous guy talking to Richard. Why isn't he bringing his best brain game instead of just shutting down the conversation? Well, I knew he'd lose. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I knew he was I'm not sure get he wrecked. knew he'd lose, but, but we knew he'd lose. Yeah. 
I wonder if it's a, it's got to be a jealousy factor or something. Maybe they know each other from back in the day. And the, you so know. you don't think there's substance. You think he's, he's literally just, uh, you know, it is some kind of personal deal. <sighs> I think it's one of those two things. One is it, it's either he truly believes that Hex is bad for people or he has some other just personal thing against Richard. It's like one of those two things it seems like well he could be a a sailor kind where it's just i and I, you know i haven't followed the guy long enough to know what kind of bags he holds other than bitcoin maybe he's just a bitcoin maxi and literally only bitcoin so any other coin you know outside of probably the big four ah, they're, they're all crap they're all crap i'm not positive because i don't know enough about the guy Okay, so maybe his his vision on which coins, so being a Bitcoin maximalist, for example, and his vision on which coins should be the winners makes him make would make him talk negatively about any project. Just so happened, Richard right. is so you know uh, flamboyant, I guess is the word about this, and so out there, and so like in your face about it that it encourages him to say negative things. Yeah, maybe that's number three. Yeah, I yeah, I just I want to see you know five, 10, 15 years. I wonder if Peter's ever going to be like, he's going to, uh, he's going to be in the documentary. It's going to be, you know, some like PBS documentary on Richard Hart. And it's going to have, you know, maybe him on there being like, you know, it was early days. Uh, Hex just launched. I formed my opinion a little too quickly. You know, I just <laughs> bought my bag at, at $5 a coin. <laughs> like, I mean, maybe not quite that com comical, but like I could see him being as some, one of the people from the early days of Hex, they interview to describe like how he, you know, he, he missed the boat on that one because yeah. uh, that's, that's a more likely future than Hex going to zero. Yeah.